Hello everybody. In this video I'll show you how to batch import backgrounds into the HDRI Maker Library. From the Save panel select User Library. User Library, allows you to save your backgrounds in a category created by you. From the Library Tools submenu we add a new category. Let's choose a custom name for the category. Once you press OK the category will be created, and it will already be selected. Now I choose Batch from Folder. I set up the folder that contains our background files. We select all the files we want to save in the category. In this case we are importing EXR type files, you can also use HDR files. Now that we have selected the source of the files, press the Batch Save button. Here the files that have been added will be shown. You can remove them from this list if you wish, so if you remove them from the list, they will not be added to the category. When all ready, select yes and press ok. Now the batch save will start. This operation is currently saving 93 backgrounds in our user library. The duration of the operation depends on the number of backgrounds to be saved, their size and the performance of the computer in use. This process is also performing the creation of preview images, which are needed to be displayed in the preview panel of HDRI Maker. Now I speed up the video to 5000% and let's see what happens at the end. When the process ends, from the HDRI Maker main panel we can already access the newly created category, with our backgrounds ready for use. All previews were created automatically. We can already add our backgrounds to the scene. They will always be available in all projects in HDRI Maker. They can also be projected on the dome. Previews can also be redrawn if you wish. This is only possible for the user library. We can reset camera rotation, brightness, camera lens, the amount of viewing angle. This allows you to recreate the preview, so you have a consistent preview of the background. The redraw time depends a lot on your computer and its performance. Thanks for viewing. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on news.